All right, so I'm going to show you how to create a function that finds the remainder of very large numbers. So right now, if you take 46 modulus 23, you're going to get a remainder of 0. 47 modulus 23, you're going to get a remainder of 1. And a program like this, so you'd have, you'd have integer x equals 46, integer y equals 23, and then integer z would be the remainder, you'd print z, you would get 0. But if you wanted to do something like this really big number, which exceeds the limit of integers, or this modulus function, you're going to get an overflow error. Uh, I'm going to write a program that solves that. Uh, and the way I do that is instead of doing modulus, you could take 46 divided by 23 or not, not divided by, you take 46 minus 23 is going to give you 23, and then that number 23 minus 23 is going to give you a remainder of 0, which is saying 23 goes into 46 two times with a remainder of 0. So you just subtract the divisor from the dividend as many times until the number remaining is less than divisor. So, I would take dividend subtracted by 23 until remainder is less than or less than or equal to divisor. And I'm going to do that in this program over here. So, first of all, I'm going to have an unsigned long long integer function mod. This is what I'm naming it which stands for mod long long unsigned and it's going to take in dividend which is a long long unsigned end and then divisor which is also long long unsigned and it's going to return the remainder and the remainder can just be an integer but for now I either works because um, well actually no uh, remainder has to be unsigned long long integer because at first it's going to start off as a really big number. So I name this variable as temp variable and I'm going to make a while loop where this dividend, for example that really big number, is greater than while it's greater than or equal to divisor. I'm going to take that dividend and I'm going to subtract the divisor. So it's going to be that really big number, minus 23. And then that that variable will be stored. That new dividend is stored in the temp. And it's going to do that until this is going to be 0. And the last value is going to be returned. Now I'm going to test that out here. So I'm going to send in this really big number, modulus 23, and it should return a remainder of 9, and so on, until I'm going to do this last one too, which is our first example. Oh, I should probably save it. Gotta find the error. Okay. So we get the right answers back. Nine, one, sixteen, eight, zero. So that's all good. But you can see that it kind of took a while to compute all those numbers. Um, and the reason for that is. I'm sending in this really big number and 23 is being subtracted from it this many times. So this works for really big numbers but it's slow. So I'm going to make a second video and I, I'm going to have an algorithm ready that is much faster than this. So if you want to see more, uh, please like the video and thank you. See ya.